Hi everybody, I'm Deacon Connie Lorenz and this is All Saints Faith Formation for Families Church School Class for the fourth Sunday of Advent, which is December 20th. So let's welcome Deacon Ann as she lights the fourth candle on our Advent tree. Hello friends. This is the fourth Sunday of Advent. The theme of today is peace. We're going to hear two readings about peace and then we'll light our last purple candle. This is a reading from Isaiah. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. And from the Gospel of John, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. So we're going to light our last purple candle, remembering the message of peace that Jesus brings. And now we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, you were born into a sinful, restless world looking for answers and desperate for peace. Our world today may not look like that of ancient Bethlehem, but it is an equally broken place, filled with anxious hearts, eager to discover purpose and lasting hope. We are so thankful that you demonstrate over and over that your heart's desire is to connect with your creation, offering authentic joy, peace, and love to all that call on your great name. This Advent season, may our world see your son's birth as an olive branch of peace. No matter what their circumstances, may their minds be open to the fact that you give us an incredible peace that cannot be shaken or taken away. Thank you, God, for being the path to peace. We rejoice in your amazing peace today as we celebrate your son's birth. Come, God with us, who holds us in acceptance of love. Come, God beside us, who steadies us when we falter, who lifts us up when we fall. Come, God behind us, who picks up the faded dreams we drop along the way and weaves them into hope. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and we will rejoice forever. Blessings, my friend. It has been a joy to worship with you. Amen. What do you put on the very top of your Christmas tree? Some people put a star at the top of their tree. And that's a good choice. After all, a special star played a very important part in the Christmas story. The special star led the three kings to visit baby Jesus. And the special star shone above the stable where Jesus was born. Now, some people like to put an angel on the top of a tree. And I brought some of my angels to share with you. Um, this is the original angel that we put on our big Christmas tree when we lived in Queens. Um, unfortunately, she's too big for the tree we have now. Um, I now have smaller angels. And this one will go above our creche. Um, so you can see that one hang right over the crash. And at the top of my Christmas tree, I have this little angel. And throughout the tree, we have our other angels. Here we go. We have him and her, and we have her. So they all are among the branches of my little Christmas tree. Around the bottom of my Christmas tree, I have this angel. 
Isn't she pretty? And this one. But one of my favorite is a very special angel that was given as a gift to me. And this angel looking over and protecting the baby Jesus will sit on top of our fireplace mantelpiece. Okay, so this is a very special angel. Now angels were very important in our Christmas story. Angels brought the happy good news message of Jesus' birth to the shepherds. Now, as you probably know, angels are messengers from God. And today I want to tell you about a very important angel. And this angel's name is Gabriel. And this story can be found in our Gospel of St. Luke's. And it goes a little bit like this. So many years ago, the angel Gabriel was sent by God. Let's see, who could be the angel Gabriel? Could be sent by God to a girl named Mary. And Mary was a young girl who was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. And Gabriel was sent by God to deliver Mary a message. And the angel said to Mary, greetings favored one, the Lord is with you. Now Mary was frightened and confused by the angel's greeting. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her. You have found favor in God's sight. You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. Mary asked the angel, how can this happen? I'm a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. The baby will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary replied. Let everything happen just as you have said. Now, God could have chosen anyone to give birth to Jesus, but he chose Mary, a young virgin living in a little village of Nazareth. She wasn't very important, but she was important to God. And he chose her to do the most important thing one could ever imagine. He chose her to give birth to his only son. God still chooses unimportant people to perform important tasks. He has given you and me the task of sharing the good news of Jesus and his love to the whole world. In Matthew's gospel, we read, go and make disciples of all nations. Can you imagine a more important task this year? As we celebrate the birth of Jesus, let us, like Mary, answer God's call. I am the Lord's servant. Let it be with me, just as you have said. So let's close our class with a prayer. Dear Father God, we thank you for this story and about how you sent your angel Gabriel, to take the message to Mary. We also thank you that you have given us the task of taking the message of Jesus and his love to all the world. Amen. I wanted to add a postscript, a PS, to my Advent 4 class. During the season of Advent, we lit the candles of hope, love, joy, and peace on our Advent wreath. Christmas is just a few days away. And on Christmas Eve, we will light the white candle on the Advent wreath 
symbolizing the birth of Jesus into the world. The very familiar Christmas story can be found in Luke's Gospel, in the second chapter. You must remember that the emperor of that time decided to give the order that all the people needed to be counted. He was conducting a census, probably so he could tax the people even more. This meant that everyone had to go to their hometown to be counted. And so Joseph had to leave Nazareth and go to Bethlehem, since Bethlehem had been King David's hometown and Joseph belonged to David's family. Mary, who was going to have a baby soon, went with Joseph. While they were in Bethlehem, she gave birth to her son, Jesus. She dressed him and laid him in a manger in a stable because there was no room for them in the inn. Later that evening, a group of shepherds who were watching their sheep in the field had a special visitor. An angel who told them about the birth of Jesus. Then a whole group of angels appeared. <laughs> and they sang beautiful songs of praise to God. After the angels left, the shepherds, they decided to go and find this baby Jesus. And they found Mary, Joseph, and they saw the baby lying in the manger. This is what happened on the first Christmas. Since we are taking a break from our church school videos until after Christmas, I want to take this opportunity to wish you and your families a very blessed and happy Christmas. And I wish you all a new year, 2021, filled with hope, love, peace, joy, and good health. Take care, and I will see you in the new year.